Is that King Nahale? That is King Nahale, Etosha King Nahale. Is it the same lodge that looks like a cattle head? Yes, African royalty. Oh my goodness. In the bedroom. This has been on my bucket list. You are lying. No way. Ah! I need to leave you. Hey. King Nahale. I'm coming home. Sleeping in this community inspired lodge in Namibia has always been one thing that I really want to experience before I die. If you've been watching my videos, you know that Namibia is one of my favorite countries in the world. I've been to Namibia before, but I never saw myself going to Namibia anytime soon until yeah! I got a message from the Namibian Tourism Board inviting me back to Namibia. I was a bit hesitant because I don't see myself going there anytime soon until I saw the places that we'll be exploring, which includes Itosha Kinahale Community Inspired Lodge. My goodness, what a beautiful way to fulfill a dream. Oh, life is good, bro. On the day of departure, I had no passport, but NTV made it possible for me to travel for the first time ever without a passport. And on my arrival, I had the best welcome ever. If you don't know where Namibia is, Namibia is a country in the Southern Africa with a population of 2.5 million people and the land size of over 824 thousand kilometers square which means they got vast land but less people but after coming to namibia for the second time this is my own definition namibia got everything that every african country have which means namibia is equals to africa when i say that this is what i mean if you want to go to Algeria or Egypt for a desert safari, Namibia got you. If you ever want to go to Tanzania or Kenya to go for a wildlife safari, Namibia got you. If you want to go to Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ghana for a sea experience, don't forget that Namibia got you. And if you're looking to experience an African culture that has been preserved for so many years, Namibia really got you. I know you are like, excited to explore Africa. I mean, yeah, Namibia with me. We spent our first night at Wimberg, a hotel in the heart of Vindog, one of Gondwana lodges, and they are the official partners of the NTB to organize this trip. To know more about Gondwana lodges, check out their website in the description below. And the next morning, it was time to checklist Kinahale, which is in the northern part of Namibia. So this is definitely going to be a road trip. But road trips are always exciting when you know that you're going with a group. And I couldn't believe that in that group, I had my favorite Namibian YouTuber in there. And she started this trip with a prayer. Um, let's close our eyes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you and call you Lord God Almighty to ordain this journey for us, oh God. Father, we don't come before you because we don't have any other God, but we come before you because we've tasted your goodness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making this trip possible. Thank you for everyone that has come together and made this possible in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is our first stop. We're on a road trip, right? Mm -hmm. What are we coming to do in here? We are in Okahanja, first of all. Okay. Yeah, and so we're grabbing breakfast, but 
on top of breakfast, one of the very most important things you need to get is definitely snacks for the road. And when I say snacks, I don't mean chips, I don't mean sweets, I mean biltong. What? Yes, biltong, Maya. W what is that? Let's go, let me show you. Okay, so biltong is basically just dried meat, but with spices. Okay. Dried meat? Yeah. So it's basically just your dried meat with some spices, some black peppers, some... Yeah, they do use different spices. But what's most important is we have chili bites, which are my faves. Um, it says itself, chili bites. So if you like pepe, this is, <laughs> this this is, is for me. you. <laughs> let's, let's just yeah. try it out and test it. Yeah. Yes. I know it's for a road trip, but... Yeah. Um, you need to taste it now. I'm a meat guy, you know? <laughs> Sorry? We are heading to Etosha. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think? Give me one. I, I, ah, I, come I, on. <laughs> food over women, you know. <laughs> Don't touch my food. <laughs> Just like that. Whoa. Man, I'm so no, amazing. I'm so... Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your take on it? It's hard, mm -hmm. but as soon as you start chewing it, mm -hmm. it gets like... The flavors. Oh my goodness, and mm -hmm. it has chili, you know? Mm -hmm. This is chili. Yeah, we, we took chili by. But if you don't have good teeth, don't try it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> the sun in here hit hard. Like Ghana, wow. Like yeah, it feels like Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we just um, arrived in the north. This is where the north starts yeah, from, yeah, right? This is where the started, yeah. Oh, where, where is this place called? So this is Oshivero. Okay. So so we now we just enter the north a kilometer away. So now you know it's part of our tradition. So if you if it's your first time in the north, you have to taste the scent. So just taste the what? A scent. And then you uh, mean scent? Yes, the scent. Taste then, it. Then, yes, I, I can even see my shadow. It shows <laughs> that hey, the sun is not easy, so man. For, for just for our ancestors to protect you. Okay. Yes. So all for right. The ancestors to protect you. Yes. You need to taste the sun. Yes, you have to taste the scent. So I'm just tasting, and then you just do it just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what yeah, you yeah, did. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit. So it's like first time, eh? Uh huh. Wow. Okay. So, if you go to Rome, you do what Romans do. Yes. Are you serious? Are you really eating it? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'll yeah. share with my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the sun tastes like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big fan. Wow. See, I just met someone who said he has to shake my hands. I just arrived in the northern part of Namibia. Hey! Big boss. What's up, man? My friend, man. I hope I see myself on YouTube. No, you're definitely not going to see yourself yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, on the Maya, eh? Oh, he's, uh, he's my favorite YouTuber. Uh, yo, for real, come. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Congrats, man. Uh, now that I'm protected by the ancestors of Namibia, it's time to what? Bless me with something from Namibia. And that blessing needs to fill my stomach. And it's lunchtime. And ancestors decided to bless me with meat. I mean, authentic Namibian meat that you will never get it anywhere. It's lunch time, eh? It's lunch time. We need some meat. Yes. Good morning. Nawa. Nawa. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we. Okay, so is it uh, beef or what is it? Okay. Is it beef? Beef in Namibia is affordable. Mm. <laughs> Look at beef everywhere. You, can't, you cannot see this kind of beef in Ghana. Mm. They are different, doing different. different but there's no competition. All of you are selling at mm. one place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no competition. So we will see they are selling different. Can I, can I test your own? Mm. You know, you can eat it with pap. Mm -hmm. So you can eat it with fat cake. Yeah, and, you can, and you can eat it with. Um, Some salt? Uh, yes. So just to have fun with it. Have fun with the meat. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I buy a house here? Yeah? <laughs> I want to live in here. Yeah. We've been eating meat. I want you to try the fish. Do you like Namibia fish? Namibia only got meat. No. no. Because our fish is too. We have everything, including chicken. Wow. Okay. So this is how it looks when it's spiced. You have to be careful because there's obviously bones. 
but you just basically grab a piece. Just grab a piece. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't look like a piece. <laughs> Mine? <laughs> Is it too big? <laughs> what do you eat the fish with? Just like that. Just like that? Yeah, or you can have it with this bread. What about this? Which one? Chips? Nah, nah. Too, too western. You are mixing. <laughs> so with the bread, you break it in half. This is your portion. Then you just do this. Maya, if you are not fast, me I'm a dish killer. <laughs> what? How can you? How can you blend sugar and salt? Mm? Oh, it's giving. Oh. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. The combination is sick. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's nice. Hmm? Ah, no tombo. Are you thirsty? Let's go look for like, tombo. I, what, I think with this, mm -hmm. together with the bread, mm -hmm. just add some tombo to it. And yeah, then. it will be very fresh. Tombo now. Tombo. What is your favorite? My favorite. <laughs> Namibia and the what? Is uh -huh. it beverage? Hey, let's go. guys, come let's hey. go. It's like, oh, you're not scared? <laughs> no. Jeez. I don't want to die in Namibia, man. You die. I, I have so much loved ones in here. <laughs> and you arrest you today. I die in here because of you. Yeah, no, they will come for me. <laughs> nah, they, <laughs> your whole YouTube family. They will be like, hey, who's that girl? Tombo. Tombo is here. Hey, you know what? Uh, in Namibia, uh huh. You don't drink tombo alone? No. Yeah. Hey! Come, 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 come! Drink tombo together! So you, you, you need to drink with your friends, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hold it well. Okay. You know, if you let it fall, I'm gonna beat you up. Here. Ah, it's so big! Yeah, drink it. Nice one. Next person. Yeah! Yeah! Are you not this is my first time! Oh. <laughs> no! Ah, first time. Uh, yeah. oh. Hi, how are you doing? I know it's a busy day. You guys wanna test my tombo? Huh? Tap on the No, I'm on guard. Test my tombo. Yeah, you, you know what I drink? They don't drink. They don't drink alcohol. Oh. Okay, so you just. Is that alcohol? It's alcohol. No. It is. Is tombo alcohol? Guys, yeah. in the comment section. <laughs> Really? Comment down below, Namibians. Uh, uh, ah, yeah. ah, uh, uh, let me know. <laughs> know it I makes guess, people drunk. I guess this is the best alcoholic beverage ever. Ah. Because I, I've never tasted any alcoholic beverage before. Maya. Is it? So it's alcohol? Mm, yeah. Are you drinking Tombo? Tombo, yes. yeah, you, uh, you I was are... drinking it when I was small, baby. Ah. <laughs> small baby? But you got was in the, in the sock. Yeah. Oh, okay. In the bag. Maya, this thing is already making me feel so funny. I Come don't... on, you just <laughs> took a sip. <laughs> Traveling gives you the chance to meet people and experience the art culture. And since we found ourselves in Ovambo land, we just had to go and immerse ourselves in the Ovambo culture. If you don't know who the Ovambos are, the Ovambo people are the largest tribe in Namibia. And Hey, since I'm here, I just had to pay a visit to one of the Vambo homestead just to go and immerse myself in their beautiful culture. And I know and believe that you will love this. the next one. <laughs> <laughs> ah. okay. 
Okay, one. Woo! I can even check all of them. If I see what is behind me, don't be scared. This is not for sacrifice. This is actually for it. Which means people living in this house are super rich, man. You see the number of cow head you seen in here? It shows how many cows that have been slaughtered in this house. I'm here. You need to slaughter a cow. This one is very nice, man. The greens. What do you guys eat? Uh, traditional food. It's more like bangku made out of maize. Mm -hmm. You mean you're gonna have to chew this? Mm -hmm. You have to chew it. No. No, look Always at me. Is it like space. this one? Yeah. The peanuts and the rice. Can I, can I take the leftover and get you? No. 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 Yes. no. What is it for this? Is it for this? Ah! <laughs> is it for this <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, mm. well, just, just try it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they are not. If you go mm -hmm. in Mandangwa, you know, they are very high. Woo! 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 Come on. You have to chew. Woo! My God. It tastes like shrimp. No, 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 no. It tastes good. Just like shrimp. Let me just act. Ah. Yeah. I can't believe I ate Mopana for the first time. This is crazy. has always been a dream. Right. And do you believe that dreams come true? I do indeed. I never knew a day will come. Mm -hmm. I'll be sitting on a throne in Namibia. Yeah. Telling the whole world that the whole Itosha National Park belongs to me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you laugh? <laughs> you just got here. You just got here. You're claiming the fact to see us. <laughs> no, as I, as I sit here, mm -hmm. the park is in front of me. Yeah. And in Ghana, yeah. if I can see things with my eyes, it's yours. And I command this side, yeah. that side <laughs> all belongs to me. I bet that's how the king felt. That's You royalty. are sitting in this chair. How does it feel? Royalty. Right? Royalty. Your Highness. Thank you. <laughs> May you be blessed. My, uh... <laughs> I am very happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I've never felt like this before. Already? Listen, wow. this is not everything. There is more? Listen, I have more to show you. You have more to show me? Mm -hmm. This is just started. What is more than where I am? Listen, you are Seeing yet... cows in front of me, seeing wild beasts in front of me, seeing spring bob, you are yet to experience the luxury that comes with royalty at the King Nihale. King Nihale? Mm -hmm. How far is King Nihale from where I'm sitting? I can actually see it. Have a look. It's not far. I should have a look. I mean, it's right there. Do I have to stand? <laughs> this chair. This chair. Just right here. Do you just want to dethrone me? <laughs> no, that's not my intention. That's not your intention? No. I want you to see. I trust you. Even though I'm not Samson. <laughs> Yo, <this> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, right there. That's Etosha King Nahale? That is King Nahale. Etosha King Nahale. Is it the same lodge that looks like a cattle head? Yes! African royalty! Oh my goodness! In the bedroom? This has been on my bucket list! You are lying! No way! <laughs> I need to leave you! Hey! Kinahale! I'm coming
such a beautiful world design lodge embedded with traditional designs this is my kind of place man i love this thing about the dining area is definitely the chandelier so this chandelier is made out of I don't know how many but these are basically cups right so it's traditional cups we use them to drink traditional beer okay. but let me show you one more thing that makes this place royal you were raving about that chair okay I have another one for you welcome hmm. your highness Thank you. The head of the table. <laughs> How does it feel? Do you feel like royalty? Royalty? A king without queens? That's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> well, we need to find you some queens in the north then. <laughs> we need to find you some queens then. But Maya, listen. This is not it, okay? I know I already sold you, but this is not it. Still more. Where am I going to sleep? Where you're sleeping? Let's go there. This is where you're staying. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every room has its own private pool, so let me show you. Welcome to your private pool. Wow. Right? Again, for your queen, for your king. And you just, woo! I was gonna jump right into it. <laughs> That's a plunge pool? It's a plunge pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks really pretty. You wanna get in? Of course. Test the waters. I'll get in when you're Ooh. here. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I gotta go, man. <laughs> yeah, but hey, Tyree is a YouTuber based in Namibia. The link is in the description. You all should go check out her YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe and be part of her awesome channel. She's crazy, by the way. I'm smiling a lot. Don't blame me. I'm just so super happy to be here. This has been on my bucket list and I'm so glad that I finally check Mark something that i've always wanted to do a big shout out to the namibian tourism board i want to tell you all it's time to visit namibia yo how was your night my night was very peaceful oh my goodness the room look at my room right there man the bed is so comfortable i opened my curtains just to enjoy the view while sleeping you can't get this anywhere. It's like we are in the middle of nowhere. Oh my goodness. It's a blessing to be from Africa. It's a blessing to come from Namibia. And I think I need to educate myself about this whole lodge. I mean, the history of the lodge, why they established this lodge in here. And that is something that I always want to do with my videos, right? So, you know what? I think it's time for us to go have breakfast and after breakfast I'm definitely gonna educate you about this lodge all right welcome everybody thank uh, you and also Maya for coming to Namibia thank you so very soon we'll give you some maybe Namibia citizens <laughs> I can't, I can't wait for that, man. I really want to be Namibian so badly. But you, start, you have to start speaking with Shivambo of his. Now, uh, <laughs> do I qualify for that? Yeah, no, um, so we are now at King Hale Lodge. Uh, yeah. This is one of Gondwana lodges. And then uh, it's situated in the northern part of Namibia. And um, just a few kilo, a kilometer to Etosha. The national park. This national park. So this this lodge is built um, in the conservancy area. So we, you know, we're only running the lodge, uh, but the the conservancy people still own the the, what the, the area. So so that's what that's what they're uh, wow. giving back to, to to the communities. 
You know what makes this lodge so unique? When you fly the drone in here, yes. it looks like a cattle head. Uh -huh. That's incredible. <laughs> Where did you guys get that from? You know, um, starting with Gondwana Lodge, mm -hmm. I mean Gondwana, it's a Namibian company. So what we, uh, whatever we do, we do it a Gondwana way, a Namibian way. Okay. So you know, um, so you, this is the uh, Ovamboran. Yeah. So this area belongs to uh, Shivambo speaking people. Mm. So when we build the lodge here. So, and then this area, it's all it's clouded with uh, Nguni cattle that migrated 8,000 years and then settled in the southern part of Africa. Wow. So now that we also want to feel closer to, to the area, so we come up with that idea and then build the lodges like in a horn so far. Of, of, of Nguni cattles. You, you, you know, we saw no, them around No, they are, they are all over the place. <laughs> yes. it, it, it seems the cattle own this place, man. <laughs> because anytime you come in here, they'll be grazing yes. even with the game animals. I'm like, oh yes. my goodness. Yes. I've never yes. seen anything yeah. like that so before. That's why um, seeing them with game anymore, yeah. like I said earlier, that this area belongs to the community. Yeah. So it's not belong to Gondwana. So it's belong to the King Nehale Conservancy. So wow. the community own this area. So that's why you see the cattle game, and that's what we uh, we want to have uh, everything for this future generation when they come, they see um, animals and, and everything. So we don't really hunt in this area, but we conserve. How many chalets do you have in here? So we have uh, 40 chalets, and uh, so we also have family rooms, and uh, we also have um, uh, double and then an, uh, twin rooms. Yes. Is it affordable to live in here? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's uh, very easy. All you can do is just apply the Gondwana card, especially if you are a SADC member or a Namibian. Oh. So you can apply for a Gondwana card and then you qualify to live wherever you want in Gondwana lodges or in uh, Namibian lodges. In board. But you cannot use in Namibia. I mean, in other lodges, you cannot use Gondwana card. But uh, for Gondwana lodges, you can. You are more than welcome to me, use. Me, I'm not from the SADC <laughs> region. I'm from West Africa. Is it affordable for me? Yes. I really can't believe you made it this far. If you did, write a comment. I love Namibia and make sure you like this video. Subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. But hey, I'm really living my best life in Kinahale. Oh. But since we are on a Tosha National Park, you all need to know what to do when you visit a national park. We gotta go for a safari. And this safari is something that I will never ever forget in my life. Some things that you experience in life, it's so hard to use the camera to tell the story. Yes. And that's why I always want to tell you guys that sometimes you need to go out there, go live your life, and go see something new. I mean, this is the most creative thing that I've ever seen in my entire life, man. I mean, this is my second time doing a game drive, but it's not like a game drive. This is more like you go sit somewhere, Watch animals drink water. Cheers, guys. Man, cheers. cheers. What a nice trip. How are you liking Etosha King Nehale? Let's say. Mm -hmm. If you use the word like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so I'm... mad at you. <laughs> are you angry right now? <laughs> Damn. Like I've never seen anything like this before mm -hmm. in my entire. I, I'm not saying I've not seen a giraffe before. Yeah. I've seen a giraffe before, but relaxing, mm -hmm. sipping, having a cold drink. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Cheers to that! Oh my god! <laughs> we 
just saw an orange. And this is the national animal for yeah. Namibia, right? That's our national animal. Someone tells you that you're a lion, yeah? You know that you're brave and powerful. We're in Itosha National Park. It's the second largest park in Namibia, national park in Namibia. It's a roughly 22,000 square kilometers uh, in size, yeah. And, uh, but because of its biodiversity and animals and plants and, and, and um, that type of life and the, the sheer size of it, it is the, the most popular national park in the country. It's our jewel of conservation and tourism. Oh my goodness, the show is over, yeah? Not even a single animal right there. You know what? On to the next one. Let's go.